Electron Cyclotron Resonance Engine, or ECR, will have higher performance and higher efficiency than the variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket. And with the right power levels, might run as a fusion engine, opening up the entire solar system to manned travel, with travel times in months and years, rather than decades. The ECR works on the same principle as an ion engine, so any matter that can be turned into plasma can work as a fuel source. Here we see the ECR powering a manned ship on Earth departure. Destination, the Oort Cloud. ship journeys outbound for the Oort Cloud, its engines continue to burn up the fuel in our tanks, pushing the ship faster and faster. Because the engine can use any matter that can be turned into plasma, we can source our fuel from any icy body such as the moons of Jupiter or Saturn. Going even higher up in the gravitational well of our sun, Let's us source our fuel resupply from comets or other icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud beyond the heliosphere. Here we see our ship has its flood lamps configured to illuminate the surface of the comet, almost like a miniature sun, which this fragile object has never seen in the entirety of its humble existence, as it is just beyond the influence of our sun. The flood lamps enable the travelers to work in near total darkness. At this distance, the sun has less illumination power than a quarter moon on Earth. Refueling our tanks of our ship at the very edge of our sun's gravitational influence gives us enough additional delta V to increase our velocity significantly and cut the travel time to other destinations far outside our solar system. With the right ship, the right engine, the right crew, and just the right supplies and equipment, we may be able to travel to some of the nearest stars. Here we see an artistic view of Bernard Star in its possible accretion disk. Bernard Star, also known occasionally as Bernard's runaway star, is a very low mass red dwarf star approximately six light years away from the Earth. In 1916, the American astronomer E.E. E. Bernard measured its proper motion as 10.3 arc seconds per year which remains the largest known proper motion of any star relative to the Sun. As the fourth closest known individual star to the Sun, after the three components of the Alpha Centauri system, Bernard star is not visible with the unaided eye. However, it is much brighter in infrared light than it is in visible light. With the power and versatility of the ECR, we may possibly be able to study in greater detail than ever before the Alpha Centauri system and some of its closest neighbors.